Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you for this debate. Uh, we, we agree, we very much agree, uh, that we should be very concerned about crimes against journalists and impunity for such crimes wherever, wherever that is taking place. Uh, but in particular, as many of you have underlined, uh, we also have to focus on uh, our own countries, uh, the European Union, because these things do happen on our own doorstep. And as a number of you have underlined, uh, a free media, uh, a media where journalists can report on any topic on all platforms without needing to censor themselves, is a cornerstone of, of our societies. Uh, and indeed, that journalistic freedom of expression is a key part of the values that we seek to defend in our European Union. So uh, the points that you have raised, including some of the new detailed points that have been raised, uh, are very important to us. I set out briefly some of the things that we're already doing and planning to do, uh, but we will now study very closely some of the additional suggestions that you have raised. Uh, and this subject will be uh, a key subject uh, for the new commission, taken forward by my colleague, uh, Commissioner Urova, who would have very much like to be with you this evening. This is one of the subjects that she holds very close to her heart and you can count on her to pursue it vigorously. Thank you very much. And now, Madam, um, on behalf of the presidency, Madam Minister Tupurainen, the floor is yours. Madam President, honorable members, thank you very much for your very important interventions. Let me assure you once again that the Presidency and the Council as a whole is committed to the fight against impunity for crimes against journalists. The freedoms of expression and the press enshrined in the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights need to be guaranteed in all Member States and those who will fall victim to crimes must receive justice. The killing of Daphne Garuana Galicia proves that no region of the world is immune to such crimes. We reiterate our commitment to combat impunity for crimes against journalists and, con to, and to continue using all appropriate means possible to respect and to protect freedom of expression and to ensure the safety of journalists and media workers. And the EU already provides financial and expert support for human rights defenders and media, media monitoring in the EU. We further foster the protection of journalists, blockers and media workers in many countries with financial and expert support. And may I recall in mind that media pluralism and the rights of journalists are also an important aspect of the rule of law, which is a high priority of the Finnish Council Presidency. We are tireless in protecting the respect of the rule of law. So we will continue to watch very closely the relevant investigations and we will stand firmly behind journal journalists around the world. I can assure you that the Council has taken careful note of the views expressed here today on this very important issue. Thank you very much for this debate again. Thank you very much, Madam Minister, and the debate is then closed.